Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back for another episode of EU4 as the Knights. In the previous episode, we were mostly squashing a few rebellions around our nation here, and we were called into war against Bohemia and a few of the Allies by Poland. But that war is practically done. We're just mostly waiting for our truce with the Ottomans to end. One of the things that I might actually want to do, though, is just put in one of the diplomats on out. Well, actually, no, we'll put one in Allies, and I suppose we could put one in Outrage Countries. Start improving some of the relations. Maybe we can get the aggressive, aggressive expansion to go down at least a little bit. So we've still got about five years until the Age of Discovery ends. Which means that uh, once that ends we'll be getting a bit more aggressive expansion again. Although we did get that after the previous war, didn't we? So yeah, I suppose the effect is going to be somewhat reduced anyway. Do you actually wonder? No, we don't have claims in here. Although Kosovo would be quite nice with the gold there. Why is going more accepted? Well, there goes the corruption again. Luckily, we are reducing it fairly quickly. Okay, the maritime ideas. Do we want to... No, we probably want to get these. Ooh, fort maintenance. Oh, dear. 10% more fort maintenance. We're going to fall losing a bit of devotion. Oh, and now we're losing a lot of money. Well, it's the corruption, I suppose. That's costing us a lot. Luckily, it's not going to be a problem for much longer. Influential Preacher. I'm going to take the influence for that. Okay, we're down to 5% uh, participation. I mean, there's not really much of an enemy. It's other than Serbia, I suppose, at this point. Everything else is more or less seized down. Oh, there we go. Convert it onto you. Very good. Uh, actually, what I suppose I could do is I could put in the edict over here for missionary strength. So we can convert Constantinople a bit faster. And actually, we'll do that first. The risk of trade. We can concentrate the traders. Uh, they would get a bit more influence. You know what? We're starting to reduce the influence of the borders a bit. We could summon the Dian now to get another mission. Although the closest influence is starting to be pretty high. Rose base stacks of 14. That's going to be quite expensive. Emperor's to have a... I mean, isn't Emperor's... Emperor's is the one that we're already building, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's practically done already then. That's going to start reducing the devastation in that area as well. How much is the... Okay, so now we're getting 0.4 ducats per month from uh, production. It could be a lot worse. And there we go, we're getting an extra manpower in Epirus. It's not a very high development location, but that's also going to start reducing the devastation quite quickly there. So that'll be very nice. We are paying quite a bit right now, though. I suppose part of that is fort maintenance. And, of course, the corruption and everything else is costing us a decent bit. I suppose one other thing, since we are still waiting for the truce with Ottomans to end, I'm going to get another galley in the meanwhile. We'll have 22 total, and we could actually get the Diplotech now. We've yet to get any of the new galleys, or... Well, actually, this is the first set of new ships that we get. It will be 11 years ahead of time, more trade efficiency, less corruption, so that's going to actually remove this a lot sooner. And we'll also get a lot more, well, a bit more money from trade. It's not necessarily that massive boost, but it is a boost regardless. Oh, actually, it was over a ducat. So next year, the truce with... Well, about a year from now. The truce with Ottomans will end. Oh, and there we go. We have peace. Ah, now we're going to assign some rivals. Ottomans. And Mamluks. That'll be fine. So we've only got 20,000 men, admittedly, as our army. Uh, right, in Tunisia... Oh, right. We don't have the money to upgrade this one yet, but we will have that probably in about three months. Maybe four. Oh, our treasure has died. Well, that's not good. Although it does save us a little bit on upkeep. Uh, we could get... Actually, we could probably get one of the inflation... Well, do we have inflation? We do have a little bit of inflation. We could also go for the production efficiency, I suppose. You know, we'll go for that one. In the end, it's at least a bit more money. Although it's not a drastic boost necessarily for us. Yeah, we don't have particularly high development, all things considered. Although we've got a lot of provinces. Just not the development that is the good thing yet. So there's Zealots in Constantinople. Okay, well, that's probably not going to be too big of an issue. But we just need to get a little bit... Right, we did lose a bit of money on hiring the advisor, didn't we? But we just need to get a bit more. Triangle trade. Slave price goes up. And uh, Portugal gets a bit of money and prestige out of that. Well, good on them. We don't know America yet. But we'll discover it eventually. Or learn of it, at least. Might not be discovering it personally. I do actually wonder... So there's the bleed, majority of it anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and park these in Constantinople. So once we start a war, we can just blockade those in there. And they won't call... Oh, you want to buy maps from me? 
Maastricht, sure. It's only two provinces, but I get 10 prestes out of that, so that's a pretty good price for me. Do I have Oscaratism? Uh, we can use a bit of admin power to avoid any of the other things, like a, a lot of unrest for... Well, it's only five years, but it's across the board, like every province, or ignorance and bliss is prestige. So five admin points seems like a very cheap price compared to the other two. It's the... Oh, the Crusade is still against the Ottomans. Good. So if I was to declare the war on all the Ottomans, uh, Tunis and Farsa will join there. And none of my allies would join yet, but it's mostly because of the truce. I suppose. Because they doesn't want to join because they're malevolent. Which is less than ideal. Ooh, now we can upgrade the Constantinople Center of Trade to level 2. That's going to start increasing our trade power a bit further in here. And it's only 28% right now, although actually it might not have updated yet. Now it's 29%, there we go. We're making up about 7 ducats of uh, trade income there. Which, you know, is not too bad. Definitely could be better, of course. Oh, right, that reminds me. Let's send the galley down here to Constantinople. We do need to eventually upgrade our trade fleet as well. That's not a huge priority right now. Oh, there we go. The truce has ended. So if we were to now declare war on the... Ottomans, I could get... Oh no, it's still taking pregnant truce. Okay, let's wait for the month to take over now if we do. There we go, so it wouldn't be a problem. I could call in Castile again. But at least Venice. Oh right, I don't have a diplomat right now. Let's uh, recall the one in uh, Crimea. Real quick, and then we can maybe declare the war. Uh, so I guess Naples... ...and Venice versus... ...Tunis, France and Ottomans. We would have the numbers advantage for sure already with that. So that's not too bad. We could probably get a claim on... Well, we have claims in here, so we can utilize those. I want to probably take a... Do I have a claim on this one? I do. Okay, so that's going to be a step towards... Uh... I suppose it is part of Syria, isn't it? Yeah. Or the state of Syria here. So all the area of Syria. So that works. We don't have a lot of um, money stacked right now, but I'm sure that that'll be fine, right? So, let's see. We could put in the war goal into somewhere around here. Maybe Salanic will do. And we'll call in Venice and Naples. We'll have the advantage in numbers. It's not necessarily a massive advantage, but then we can keep Castile as a ally to fight some other wars if need be. Technically speaking, go for the Holy War, to be fair. That would all provinces. We could get basically any province we want. And it would be less aggressive expansion. The cost would be the same. But less aggressive expansion would mean less likely to get a coalition, but that means that we need to win the fight, which is easier said than done. So I think we're just going to go with the Conquest Guesses Belly this time around. And I'm pretty sure that we have... Um, we're just... The three of us, we should still be able to beat them, right? Tunis might be a problem. You know, we could call in Castile, admittedly. For a lot easier victory. Yeah, we'll do that. Right, let's kick out the fleet over here. And then let's head to the war goal. The Venetians have already joined in. There we go. We managed to capture two of their light ships there. Oh, so we did. Let's just send them to Constantinople. And I'm pretty sure that they don't have any troops on this side of the raids here. I don't know if they can go through Lithuania. Probably not. All through here. So I don't think they have a way to get in here. Venetians are probably going to be... Oh, Venetians and uh, the Iberians are probably going to take care of uh, Tunis, more or less. So I don't need to worry about that particularly much. But what I might do is I might split up the troops. I'm not necessarily going to split it too much. Spike doesn't have any siege pips, so that's a bit of a problem. But start clearing out a bit more of this area here. Hopefully we can get there first. Nope, the Venetians got there. I'm just going to go over here then. Yeah, there we go, we've got the Crusade now. Some more taxes. Oh, they sent their fleet out. Well, we got a fairly good uh, admiral in here. I think we've got roughly the same stats on the admirals, to be fair. But we've got so much galleys in here that it is... Oh, there we go. We occupied the war goal already. It is going to be a massacre on this uh, naval battle already. Yeah, no, they lost um, 15 ships, so half their fleet. We captured six boats. We did lose a bit of uh, ships ourselves as well, but not re nearly enough to be a problem. Oh, and actually, now that we are at war, we can do some coastal raiding. Huzzah! This could probably continue that at work as well. Are you actually just 
stuck there. Okay, they got a bit of troops over here in the east, but that was to be expected. While we see... Oh, there we go. Venetians actually gave this land to me. Well, I mean, I do have a claim to a lot of it, admittedly, so there it's that. Oh, right, Tunis is being seized down. We don't actually have a fort there. That's something that I might want to do. Although we could probably have the fort in the highlands in here. Or maybe, well, I guess Tunis itself could use a force. Now that I think of it. How is a naval force limit doing? Actually, we're not over, even though we did capture quite a few ships, so that's good. I'm going to start sending a bit more troops in here. So I'll start conquering the eastern areas here. And then maybe soon enough... Oh, Mamluks announced me his arrival. Well, that doesn't scare me, to be fair. Oh, wow, yeah, we got... A lot of money from the raiding. Was we'll wait for the ships to return in here, and then we'll send our the transport fleet probably to do a bit of uh, capturing of things. There we go. Excellent. Oh well, Ottoman seized down Antioch, and Adana is next. Did we right? We're converting Constantinople right now. Yeah, Adana has gone. So if we have a look at the total manpower, the enemy's got. 54,000 men. They got a decent bit of ships still, although not all of it is Mam or Ottoman, sorry, not Mamluk. But uh, they got a decent bit of ships here still. Now, we're not necessarily going to be kicking those out of the area yet. We'll just seize down the western areas first. Actually, we could start uh, figuring out a peace deal already in here. Do we have... We've got claims on all of this. Oh, oh no, no, that, that wasn't the gold. Gold is over there. This is copper. Right, never mind. So what I'll probably want to do is get a land bridge at least to Constantinople. That would be Mamluks and Ottomans for a potential coalition. Actually, since they are my rival, I could humiliate them. Maybe get a war operations. And then get all the money. I mean, that wouldn't be too bad. That would combine these areas quite nicely. Although, getting that province wouldn't be bad either. Maybe we can uh, drop this one. Ah, oh, that would require more. Okay, maybe we don't need the war reparations. And we can take a, a bit more money instead. That way we'd have the coastline a bit further in here, and that would also get us a nice location to start finding the Mamluks from. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. Secondly speaking, we don't need a Edirne quite yet. So we can maybe leave that one off and get something else in here, maybe. Ooh, that would be a fourth province, actually. That might not be bad. How bad of a coalition would that be? Uh, it's not really that much worse, actually. And then we could still get one more province. Maybe that one. So would that be a, a worse coalition? Mm, not really. If we keep uh, fighting the Ottomans and Mamluks uh, uh, right after the peace deal ends or something like that, then we'll be mostly fine, actually. Right, looks like the Neapolitan troops have arrived in Tunis. I have a feeling that, oh yeah, the Castilian troops are heading down there as well. Good. I'm slowly gaining more and more ground here in the west. Oh no, we've been raided. Right, Clojure wants a church in Thessaly. That would be an extra base tax there. That wouldn't necessarily be too bad. Ar okay, Nobility wants Arta to be base manpower 3, but we have yet to get the idea group, so admittedly getting that extra manpower would be quite nice. Or base production of Lesbos to 4. Uh, I think we're going to go with the proposal of the clergy. We can still easily build stuff in here, so if we just get the church in there. It was the church, right? Yes. Got the money to build it and all that, so might as well. Go around a little bit to get these areas. Oh, loan offer? No, I don't really think I need a loan. There we go, we're getting... Pretty good amount of territory in here already. Of course, we haven't yet really... Oh! It's going to take one of these boats. Send it over there to plug it so they can't get to at least all these islands. Someone's going to be able to exit from there at some point, but not quite yet. But they've got quite a bit of troops in here. But yeah, they got that one. And at the same time, we got this. It might be time for me to start... Uh, maybe we'll take Sophia and Costendil. And then we'll combine the troops and we'll start heading... Maybe taking some easy battles in here, or at least, uh, you know, start threatening them a little bit. Oh, there we go. We can be the first one. Right, so we can get the marchers now. Yeah, we have 13 years ahead, oh, 12 years ahead of time in tech there, so that's fine. So we completed divine ideas. So we got that stuff. Oh, and missionary versus heretics is now increased. So how much do we actually convert on uh, 
Constantinople right now. It's 1.8, so that hasn't really increased too much. It's definitely better than nothing. The Venetians are doing most of the seating down of the forts in here for me, which is quite nice. They've got seat pips on at least one general. They've got plenty of cannons on both of these armies. Oh, there we go. They've got that one seat down. I could even call in Poland now. Don't think I will. In theory, I could, but I think it might be time to start to gathering up the units of... Oh, they got a bit of rebellions in the east now. Well, well, well. Oh, I just realized something. What we are going to do is we are going to hire one set of the marines. Because we got the force limit for it. And we use that to capture the island in here, and then they can't get there anymore. Because we've got a transport in here already, so that's not going to be a problem either. Let's combine these. So here's the question. Do I want to go for that one? Go for the capital or go for Biga? I mean, if you go for the capital, that's going to be a bit of a more precarious situation. How much of an army do they still have? Quite a bit, I reckon. Have a look at the war enemies and YLI. So Ottomans got 43,000 total. They got quite a bit of manpower reserve as well. We actually got a lot more manpower than I realized. I suppose we've been at peace for a little while here, so that does help. But Venetians actually have a larger army, and Castilians have a larger army. Uh, Aragonese have a bit larger army than what I do, but it's uh, not really too much. Oh, and we might actually be able to get some more land right. So we might want to figure out the truce with Tunis sooner rather than later. And then we're going to figure out what exactly we can afford taking without causing a massive coalition. Okay, looks like the Venetians might be heading south now. Yep, they are. So let's say I get to Biga. Seems like we'll at least have some friendly troops in the vicinity. They might actually be going for their capital, as far as I can tell. Yeah, they are. Alright, I mean, that's going to keep their fleet out, so that's nice. Speaking of fleets, though, I'm just going to take the transport uh, ships out of here and go do a bit of raiding. Especially over here in the Black Sea. There you go, we siege down bigger. We're going to stick close to the Venetians, but we're going to at least get a little bit more sieging done in the meanwhile. Uh, oh yeah, I should be able to see or rate and see it as as well. Oh, they got 24,000 men over here in the north now. Okay, Castilians and Aragonese have drawn troops in the vicinity. But that could be a problem. Of course, now they can't cross through here either, so... <laughs> yeah, that might be a problem for them. But they've taken a fair bit of time to get through all of that. Which is actually good for me. And looks like the siege over here... Oh yeah, <laughs> The Venetians got to be seizing down this rather quickly. I guess we can start uh, seizing down Sugla. I mean, we don't have the naval supremacy in there sufficiently. No, that doesn't really help the situation. Not yet, at least. But we've got the transport fleet over here. We can do a bit more raiding. And then we can get them in here. And I guess that should be enough to complete the blockade. And we've got these two. I suppose we could actually start upgrading these two already. And they've got that fleet in there. Bonfire of the Vanities. We don't really need more devotion, we'll just take the prestige. And there we go, now we've got a full blockade in here, so this siege should go down a little bit faster. Don't know where exactly the Ottoman troops are, but they might be trying to go around. I mean, I suppose there's 24,000 over here now. They're going further west over here, or northwest here. I think they might be going for Venice, actually. Well, there's a bold strategy. Ooh, there we go. Breach the walls in Sugla. Oh, do we still have a core in here? We do. Okay, that's something that we want to get then. Why is something that we don't initially need? Maybe these two, so we can take Sugla. But of course, before that, Tunis. There's a lot more stuff that has been seized down. I really want to have that island, to be fair. I could get up to there. How about out of a coalition with that? Mm, that's a bit too much. It will take these two. And then a whole lot of money. War operations and annual treaties with Ottomans. Yeah, that should be fine. We can't do it quite yet, but once uh, some of these uh, forts have been seized down and all that, it should be fine. Oh, I see your Marmara. All right, there we go. We've managed to seize down the capital. Has only got a, uh, extra base tax now, thanks to the mission. And there we go. We capture another five ships, including some heavies. Oh, I didn't realize we did capture heavies already. Alright then, uh, are they going into... Oh yeah, they're going over to the other fort now. I'll send the repair... All the damage ships to be repaired again. There's a bit of army over here in the... This Arabia region, but that's a bit... Well, actually, there's another army in the east. 
Nushins probably have a little bit of armies, but that got just beat him back. Oh, right, and this is the fort that we needed to seize down for the peace deal to be possible with Tunis. Get more devotion or lose some local autonomy in here. But since we're at war, it's not going to go down otherwise. So we could take that one. It's uh, 10 years of local unrest plus 5, though. Although, mm, you know what? We will take that. We're going to afford the unrest a little bit, at least, in there. And if we can reduce the autonomy a lot, then that means that we'll get a lot more out of it. I'm guessing Ottomans aren't very happy with this war, I'd imagine, anyway. All right, the Venetians are up here again. And it looks like... Oh! Great Horn, Grammy. Oh, are you fighting Ottomans as well? No. So did you abandon... Yeah, no, no. Well, you... Crimea is still your tributary, but you're not defending them, I guess. Oh, right, speaking of which, we got this one. Let's just go ahead and get the Marines into cheers so we can get that one done. They've got 20,000 men approaching in here. Uh, Sukla is hill, so that could be a problem. We've got a fairly good uh, leader there, though. So that does help. Oh, another wall's breached. Oh, they're going for the capital again. I mean, it makes sense, admittedly. And we re oh, we've retaken the island of Chios. It's got a little bit of devastation in there, but I suppose uh, once we get Sukla, that's going to start reducing the unrest or the devastation there quite a bit. And having Sukla will also defend these, well, this island at least. We might have another fort in Biga at some point. Oh, for colonialism. Where was this? Coimbra? Ah, right, Portugal. Well, that's not going to spread to me anytime soon, I'm afraid. Wait, where's this one? Oh, right, there's a bit of, um... Oh, grain price is going down. We probably don't have too much grain produce ourselves, though. I am going to take the construction cost and ta national tax modifier up again. Uh, but yeah, there's a bit of a noble rebellion happening in Tunis. Speaking of Tunis, would you be willing to take the peace deal yet? No, not yet. Demands exceed war score. All right, then. I suppose that fort hasn't yet been conquered. But it is coming along quite nicely there. Oh, the Venetians are going after the Ottoman army here. Well, thank you. Oh, Farsi even brought their armies in here finally. Don't think I've seen them in here before. Oh, and now that's going to get sat wife. So, yeah, we lost a bit of province in Tunis. I do actually wonder what other areas should I. I mean, I suppose I could just send it over there to seize down a few more things in the meanwhile. But the Venetians did spend a decent bit of their manpower fighting that war, which means that probably after the war they'll be using their favors to get some more manpower back, which is, you know, I suppose fair in the end. Oh, okay, they've gifted that to Aragon, so we won't be taking that one then from Tunis. We could take that one. We'll take Bizerta as well. It's a decent bit of aggressive expansion to some nations. Not all of them. Well, they would not accept the peace deal here, but I suppose if we take a bit less money. Yeah, 240 ducats, more or less. I'm going to start coring these two already. And it's expanding the area that we have over here in Tunis a little bit. It's not necessarily the best, but actually what I suppose I should do is get the castle being built in Tunis itself. Right, so they've got 15,000 men over there. Our marines, I suppose we can go to Tolku. That'll hopefully help. Oh. How are we going to win this? Let's see. You're going to be arriving here in three days. Uh, I could order the artillery barrage. Damn. <laughs> the siege would end pretty much at the same time. Okay, well, are the Venetians close? Not really. So we are kind of abandoned in here right now. I'm sure that we can still deal a lot of damage, though. Yeah, we didn't quite manage to get the system. We got pretty good morale, admittedly. But they've got the numbers advantage, so our flanks are going to start co collapsing. Plus, they got a lot more troops heading in here. Okay, I think it's time to retreat before we lose too much of the artillery. Cost us a bit of uh, war score. Imoretti is offering a loan, but no, I don't think I need that. We've got a pretty good amount of money. So, oh right, Tunis is out of the war, so now it's just Ottomans of Fars, and they probably don't want to take the peace deal yet, because uh, we're exceeding the war score cost and all that. Do I really need... Oh. Right. Um, I don't think it saved the changes that I did previously. Still got the Humiliate in there. And I do want that one. I'll need to get Sukla, but I suppose it won't allow me to take that right now. There we go. So that would be a 100%. I 
I mean, suppose if I don't take that one, I might be able to take a little bit more. Money, so that's 1,400 ducats. That'll probably be good enough. I mean, that, at least it's going to start connecting some of the areas in here. Oh, there we go. We seize down that one at least. And since we got the fleets here, they can't really re-enter on this side at least. Merchant defects. Okay, we gain mercantilism, or we lose mercantilism, gain some trade efficiency. I'm actually going to take the extra mercantilism, because that's going to allow us to get a lot more trade power in our own provinces over time. That really does cause a little bit of, um, you know, better trade and all that, or better trade income for a while. Right, they've taken bigger, so they've got a lot of troops in here, so we can't actually get across the streets here all that easily. I suppose we'll take the transfer subject to... Uh, Ability. So how a lot? Oh, we've got 11 months to get this sorted. Oh, right. Naples has brought their troops all the way there. And Castilians are now moving through. Uh, I think we might have a bit of zealots and other problems soon enough, though. I'm probably going to just send the marines down to Rhodes again. That'll probably be for the best. Oh, and we can invest into the maritime. Oh, naval force only plus 50%. That sounds like a good idea. So, are we getting any of the um, colonialism yet? Not really. Aragon is getting a little bit. So, what is the demands for spread? Uh, port capital or overlord has colonialism. Uh, nearby friendly provinces have colonialism. Neighboring has province or port capital of a country with a new world colonial nation. Well, I suspect that through Castile or something like that, it will start spreading to. Actually, hold on a minute. No, it's not spreading in here yet, but I suppose once it's present in here, it'll start spreading to Tunis and all that. And then it might also eventually spread down this way. We'll probably start want to start uh, saving up a bit of cash for that. At least Tunis is out of the war, and I suppose since the war is uh, taking a bit longer than intended... Ooh, actually, let's go ahead and protect trade. Do I want to go for... Okay, Aleppo would be 0.26. What about Alexandria? That point twenty three. So Aleppo might actually be a good one. Start protecting trade in there. They got a bit of a... Oh, coffee boom. Oh, coffee price goes up. Now, we don't have any coffee on our territories yet, but I'm sure that that will be changing in due time. Oh, even Theodora is now feeds for us. Um, Ottoman particularists. Okay, maybe I can uh, take a bit of a cheaper deal. I still want to kind of humiliate them, but if I don't humiliate them, they would actually take the peace deal already. Oh, we're out of coalition. It's not too bad, actually. I do wonder, in that case, if we don't take that one, maybe we can still take the war reps. Uh, just about. If we take slightly less cash, we can take the war reps, we can take a few provinces, and we can also... Yeah, I suppose that's good in the end. It's probably a bit... Well, still a p kind of potential coalition looming there. It's not going to fire, but it is uh, forming up in there. But I suppose, yeah, that'll be good enough. That's still going to be... How much money for me? 700. Okay, yeah, sure. There we go. So I don't need to worry about those. I'm going to start coring all of the provinces. And now we've got a continuous area through here. We've got uh, Smyrna now, which is uh, the former province of Sugla. But there we go. We've got that one now. That's another core that we just uh, retaken. It doesn't uh, complete any missions for us right now, but I suppose we are, well, we're a little bit closer to getting the Latin Empire mission done. We're not going to be taking that, mind you. And then, I suppose Jerusalem is going to be the next one. So I guess the next war is going to have to be the Mamluks. I don't think I necessarily can declare war on them. Well, I mean, could declare war, but they've got quite a few allies. And none of my allies would be joining right now. Because we just had the... Oh, they would destabilize? Okay. But anyway, I do see that we are actually out of time with this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe if I have it already. Also, get the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.